These are tamales that have pumpkin seeds and salsa and hard boiled egg in them. Now, the masa for these tamales have chaya or some other herb mixed in it. Now, today I'm using Swiss chard. I'm removing the beautiful shiny red stem and then just coarsely chopping. You would be doing the same thing with chaya if you find it, or spinach, or watercress. And I'm adding salt, and I'm gonna raise the heat to high. Once it's boiling, there it goes. I'm gonna add the Swiss chard in here. And then this just needs like one or two minutes to wilt and cook and soften. And meanwhile, I'm gonna chop some fresh epazote and fresh cilantro that I'm gonna combine with the Swiss chard into the masa. Like this, I'm removing the lower part of the stems. And then I'm just chopping a lot of fragrance in Yucatecan cooking. Okay, oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna strain. So now we're gonna mix the masa. I have one pound that I already measured of masa harina. You can use masa harina for tortillas. Sometimes it comes branded as masa harina for tamales. You can use either or. Then I'm adding a little bit of salt. And you can mix your masa for um, making tamales with water or with chicken broth. Then I have two and three quarter cups of chicken broth, but you have to be the judge and see how the masa feels. So I'm gonna start adding the chicken broth. Oh, this, is, oh, this feels so nice. Start mixing the masa. Now, you can use vegetable shortening or lard, whichever one you use. For this amount of tamales, I'm using one cup. Okay. You wanna make sure that you're really mixing in the vegetable shortening or lard in with the masa. Okay, I'm adding my herbs in here. I'm gonna mix these. Also pretty. I'm gonna rinse my hands. Okay, and then I'm gonna finely chop my chard. Chop, chop. Now I'm gonna add these to my masa. Okay, so mixing all of these. Oh, this masa feels so incredibly delicious. So I have my masa ready. I need to toast some pumpkin seeds over medium heat. So as my pumpkin seed toast, I'm gonna cut my hard boiled eggs. I'm cutting in half and then into diagonal thirds, just like this. I'm gonna set these on the side and I'm just stirring my pumpkin seeds here. I just want them to lightly toast. Once they change color and start popping, I'm gonna add them to my spice grinder. You can also use a coffee grinder. And then a little bit of salt. Let's grind. Oh, so pretty. Let's try. Mmm. You still taste some of that nutty, not so charred flavor of the pumpkin seed. And now let's talk Banana leaves and assembly. All you need to do is cut them in like 10 inch pieces. And then what you do is you rinse this. And then you have to pass them by the fire. And oh, you can see, you can see, this is really cool. You can see how the color changes as you pass it by the fire. So in a way, you're like curing it, it becomes super pliable. Okay, so these are ready to wrap tamales. So you do the outer side, outside, and then quarter cup, a third to a quarter cup of masa. 
and I'm gonna make like a um, rectangular size. And then as I do, I'm gonna make an indentation in the middle, just like this. And then I'm gonna add like a very generous tablespoon of the roasted salsa. And then I'm gonna add one to two of these egg pieces. And then pumpkin powder. And then you just wrap. So go like that, go like that, go like that. And here's your beautiful tamal. Now we wanna wrap the steamer or tamalera in those same banana leaves. Here's my tamalera. You need to add enough water to get to the bottom of the steamer. So I'm gonna turn these on over high heat. Cooking them in banana leaves imparts it with these like jungle-like fragrance and flavor. So once the water starts boiling and the steam starts being created, you wanna cover the pot, just adding a lot of banana leaves, and reduce the heat to medium, and they're gonna cook for an hour. And after an hour, you just turn it off, let them sit and settle for about 10 minutes before you take one out. And then you're gonna see what a beautiful thing it is to see, but more to eat. The banana leaves smell, just smells like tamal is ready for a party. I'm gonna add more sauce on top, on top of everything. More of that pumpkin CD thingy. It's so ready for me to eat it, and here I am talking about it. Mmm. 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 It is just the most herb powered tamales I've tried. So worth it for you to try.